United States Treasury yields that fell sharply during Fetcher Jerome Powell's press conference on Wednesday partially restored their gains. Therefore, benchmark 10-year US government bond rate, which dropped to 2.91% yesterday, is trading around 2.95% today. The Bank of England raised the key bank rate by 25 basis points to 1%, which is the fourth consecutive rate hike, pushing borrowing costs to the highest since early 2009. The United States Securities and Exchange Commission added over 80 firms to a list of entities facing possible expulsion from American exchanges amid a long-running auditing standoff between the United States and China. JD.com, Bilibili and NetEase were added to the list among others. Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway has bought another 5.9 million shares of Occidental Petroleum Corp boosting its stake in the oil company to about 15.2%. Oil giant Shell reported a record first quarter profit of $9.13 billion before the bell today. Boosted by higher oil and gas prices, stellar refining profits and the strong performance of its trading division. Shell, the world's largest liquefied natural gas trader, said sales of the fuel rose by 9% in the quarter. LNG is seen as crucial to ending Europe's reliance on Russian pipeline gas. As Philip Capital Team, we wish happy and healthy days.